Calendars and dates. You probably know what day or month it is. Do you know what day or month comes next or what day or month is in the past? Understanding and using a calendar correctly and knowing the different days, months, and dates are important for many reasons. Maybe you need to plan a birthday party, visit a friend on a specific day, attend a special event, or remember the dates for a soccer game, summer camp, vacation, or another occasion. What exactly is a calendar? A calendar is basically a chart showing the different days of the year. There are yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily calendars. Most calendars show one month at a time, but there are some that show the entire year, which is usually 365 days. A year is based on the Earth's rotation around the sun. Every four years, there is an extra day added to the year called a leap year which is 366 days. A calendar year is divided into 12 months. A month is a unit of time which contains 28, 29, 30, or 31 days, depending on the month, with each month called a different name. The months are actually based on the moon's rotation around the Earth. There are also 52 weeks. A week is a time period that lasts for seven days, with each day also called a different name. And as you may already know, there are 24 hours in a single day. To help you remember the different numbers, use the calendar helper. One day equals 24 hours. One week equals seven days. One month is 28 to 31 days. And one year is 365 days or 366 days in a leap year. You probably know the month of your birthday, but here is each month of the year and their number of days. January has 31 days. February has 28 or 29 days. February usually has 28 days, but during a leap year it will have 29 days. March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31 days. August has 31 days. September has 30 days. October, 31 days. November, 30 days. And December, 31 days. There are four months with 30 days and seven months that have 31 days. If you add all the numbers, they will equal 365 days, unless it's a leap year, which will have 366 days. Each week begins with the same day, Sunday. Here are the days of the week in order. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Weekdays are Mondays through Friday, and weekends are Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes you need to write the date on homework assignments or for other reasons. There are a few different methods to write it. Sometimes one way is preferred over another, but usually you can pick how the date is written. Sometimes the month comes first, then the day, then the year, or a numerical as the month, day, or year. Here is another way to write the date, and another, and another. The first number is the month, the second number is the date, and finally the year is given. Sometimes you may also want to include the day because it helps people make better plans. Parts of a calendar. Here is an example of a monthly calendar. The heading of a monthly calendar is always the month. This calendar is for December, which has a total of 31 days showing on a different square for each date. Notice too, there are seven days in each week, sometimes a week will include parts of two months. Finally, do you notice how many days are written? They are shown as abbreviations. You will see this on many different calendars, since the abbreviations take up much less space. What's missing from this calendar? You're right if you said the year. Sometimes a monthly calendar will not show the year, which means the month shown is for the current year. Not including your birthday, what are some of your favorite days of the year, and why?